I don't see it coming from a, a President Christie, a President Jeb Bush, a President uh, Mitt Romney again. Rand Paul so or, or, or Ted Cruz, though, I think will shoot it down. Uh, ClimateDepot.com, Mark Moreno, thank you so much. You're a real hero. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate it. Wow. Uh, when we come back from the break after the special report, David Knight is going to be sitting in. He'll go to your calls exclusively, Josh, Bob, Lucas, Robert, Nelson. I'm going to that doctor's appointment for more good news of how healthy I'm getting on InfoWarsLife.com products. Don't forget, we have Ancient Defense, amazing herbal system, discounted right now, 25%. It's selling out quickly. InfoWarsLife.com. Here is the report on water and gasoline to show how rigged it is. Gas prices have fallen far and fallen quickly, but don't celebrate yet. It's a manipulated price, and behind it are some horrific trends. Before we talk about those trends, I want to give you a quick comparison and some historical perspective. I just bought gas for $1.79 a gallon and a 20-ounce bottle of water for $1.29. That's $8.25 per gallon for refrigerated water. Of course, I can get a gallon of unrefrigerated water at a retail grocer for around a dollar, but... There are also huge taxes on the gas. In Texas, that's 38 cents per gallon, federal and state, much cheaper than the high gas tax states of, say, California, New York, or Pennsylvania, where you'll pay up to 65 cents a gallon. So taking out the taxes, I paid $1.40 per gallon. Think about that for a moment. A dollar a gallon for just taking some water, pouring it into a jug, and shipping it to retail versus $1.40 per gallon for exploring for the oil, Developing a well, if that doesn't work out, they start all over again. Once it does work out, they have to ship it to refinery, refine it, then ship it again to retail. Of course, Saudi Arabia doesn't have any exploration or startup costs. They're just looking at production costs, and their production costs are very low, estimated to be about $20 per barrel. They have said they believe U.S. shale cost is about $50 per barrel. They can easily live with $40 per barrel. Still, 100% profit. They've been getting 500 to 600% profit. 0% interest rates haven't helped the global economy. Neither has printing money, and not even drastically lower oil prices are expected to help. Here's the most important thing that nobody is talking about. The global economy has weakened so much, so quickly, that in just the last few months, the Saudis were able to cut the price of oil in half by just maintaining production levels. That's how weak the global economy is. So enjoy that gas that's about the price of water right now. It's a sugar fix. It's a Trojan horse by the Saudis so that they can regain and keep control of the world's oil supply. And then they will charge you accordingly. Most economists say, oh, it's good for the consumer. Well, of course it is. We save maybe $2 a day at lower oil prices, but it's going to burst one of the biggest bubbles we've had recently, the fracking bubble. We were told we're going to be energy independent. And we got this great fracking revolution. It's just a bubble industry without 5% junk bond rates, the lowest we've ever seen in history, normally 8 to 10% for those type of high-risk lending. Um, and without $100 plus oil prices, fracking doesn't work. So fracking is dead. That's a million jobs. That's $980 billion in investment that's going to go bad and a half a trillion dollars in debt. And it's not just oil that's declining. Other commodities are as well. A metric of 24 commodities shows a drop of 43% since 2011, with 28% of that coming in just the last seven months. And that's part of a long-term trend. In history, when you try to cure debt with debt, you end up uh, either in a, uh, an inflationary blowout and or a deflationary crash. And, and we see, and we've been saying consistently, deflationary against like leadership and a lot of very smart people who understand the debt crisis is unsustainable, we've been saying, no, this ends in deflation. And all we've seen, Europe's worried about deflation. U.S. is worried about deflation. Commodity prices are collapsing. Older people are deflationary. Young people cost everything to raise. Old people downsize everything. And with deflation accelerating, the other D word comes to mind, depression. As we saw with the Great Depression, economic hardship brings civil unrest. And our government has been preparing for civil unrest. It's war. The greatest concentration of fighting troops in Washington since 1865. I knew something was going to happen, that they might be attacked. And uh, I had a press card 
So I passed the police lines, and then I saw the soldiers advancing, and uh, they started throwing tear gas. I'd never seen anything like it. To prevent civil war and a major economic collapse, governments will start foreign wars. And the U.S. is laying the groundwork for war with Russia. And if the Russian economy collapses, they will want a foreign enemy too. War with Russia has already begun, with Western-funded revolution in Ukraine, economic sanctions, and with the CIA and the Saudis targeting Russia's most important economic sector, energy. The CIA's ally, Saudi Arabia, is once more working against the interests of our country. And working to make us dependent on foreign oil, something the military-industrial complex has used to push us into wars throughout the 20th century. And engaging directly in economic warfare on Russia, pushing us towards real war as the world slips from deflation into depression. For InfoWars Nightly News, I'm David Knight. Usually, the older one gets, the less you are able to absorb amino acids and the less you are able to repair the 100 trillion cells of your body. As a result, you'll have less energy, your tissues will shrink, and you'll become wrinkled. An older person will typically injure more easily and heal more slowly. Not fun. However, if you can consume a protein powder that is easier to absorb, then you may be able to gain back some strength, muscle, and speed of recovery. One World Whey is a highly digestible whey protein powder that may be the perfect answer for you. My name is Errol. I'm 74 years old. You know, the taste of One World Whey is amazing. I play pickleball, and since taking One World Whey and your trace mineral supplement, I have more energy and recover faster from my working out. I used to take another grass-fed whey protein powder, but now I'm getting much better results using One World Whey. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325 or visit OneWorldWay.com. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-852-1820. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-852-1820. That's 1-800-852-1820. Call 1-800-852-1820. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. <gasps> hey, Boomer. I learned in school today that 60% of our bodies are made of water. Good thing we have the Berkey system. It's the cleanest, best water ever. Mom says it's because the Berkey's filtration system cleans out the bad stuff and leaves only pure, delicious water. I know, right? You love it, too. Yeah, I'm thirsty, too. Let's go get some. Get Berkey clean water by calling 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Or visit GoBerkey.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I'll be your host for the last segment here. And we're also going to take the calls of the people who've been waiting online to talk to us. We're going to take that in overdrive as well. Before we go back to the calls, just want to remind you we've got a special introductory offer of 25% off of Ancient Defense. That's uh, now, right now, only $14.99. Now, that report that you just heard talking about how the Saudis are using oil prices, bursting the fracking bubble here in the United States, also attacking the Russian economy, I think that's something we really need to think about. What people are not looking at is just how vulnerable 
the global economy is. Because with all the zero interest rates, with all the money being printed, there is nothing that they can do, even with falling oil prices, that the World Bank has said that we're going to continue to see the global economy not recover this year, even with low, lower oil prices. And yet, when we look at this climate change vote, what explains the Republicans committing suicide? Why, why are McCain and Lindsey Graham pushing Republicans to vote on climate change? It's the Keystone Pipeline. This is something that they passed in the House for the ninth time right after they came back from the elections. And of course, nothing at that point had changed in the Democrat-controlled Senate. They knew they weren't going to get the Keystone Pipeline through the Senate, not signed by Obama either. Nevertheless, they ignored doing anything about Obamacare. They didn't do anything about the border. They worked on passing the Keystone Pipeline, the very first thing when they came back from the elections. What is it? about their corporate masters, the GOP's corporate masters that want the Keystone Pipeline so desperately that they've done it ninth, nine times and now 10 times. And if you look at what they've done, they've offered a carrot to Obama to get him to sign it. They basically put in the uh, clause about climate change. Alex said and warned everybody that as the prices of oil were down before they bring them back up, before the Saudis regain full control of the uh, oil economy, while they're down, they're going to introduce new taxes. Many people have already been calling for new gasoline taxes. This is when they can add new carbon taxes, when oil prices are temporarily low. But we see that there's been massive deflation in commodities, even though we've seen consumer prices rising, it's looking very shaky. Are we going to have stagflation again? Or is this deflation going to turn into depression and war. That's the other part of this. I want to go back to your calls right now. Let's go to Josh in California. Josh? Hello. Hey. Uh, hi, David. Go ahead. You're on. Um, I wanted to uh, discuss something Alex brought up uh, a few days ago about George Soros and uh, weaponized marijuana. Um, I believe uh, Alex is correct about most of what he says about George Soros. I've been studying the New World Order for since 1990 myself and, and act, been an activist in the cannabis legalization movement in California for just as long. And um, what he said was, you know, kind of wacky, and I wanted to set some, some truth and straighten that out a bit. Um, there's no such thing as weaponized marijuana um, to begin with. Um, what we have is we have people crossing strains that have, say, 12% THC, with strains that have 16% THC and then upping the, the THC to say 14%. And uh, they keep doing that. And, you know, we've gotten it to about 22%, 24% is about the highest percentage of THC in cannabis today. Well, you However, know, Josh, here's my take on it. I, I know the concentration has gone up and, and I think it's, it's been going up for a while because this always happens with prohibition. The problem is not marijuana. The problem is prohibition. We saw the increase in alcohol potency during alcohol prohibition. And of course, we've seen the same thing with every drug that's being permitted. And my personal take on it, Josh, is I think it's interesting that as we look at a global economy that can't be revived no matter what happens with cheap oil, with free interest rates, and as we look at depression, are they going to bring it back as kind of a distraction like they did when they legalized alcohol the second time? Hang on, we're gonna continue with your calls right after the break, thank you. The Genesis Communications Radio Network. The knowledge of the ancients. Tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend. Crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. For a limited time, get 25% off on this introductory offer. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. ancientdefense.com. 